It's your boy Lagging24 coming at you with some Black Ops 1 Zombies. What's up, every? Oh, buddy. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to some Black Ops here on the map. Keynote or Tote. I'm with Q Knight Z. What's up, friend? How are you? I'm just great. How about yourself? I'm doing well. We're going to be doing a challenge today. It's going to be the Lagging24 challenge. The goal is to get two Pack a Punch weapons, four Perca Colas, all within 24 minutes. The timer will start as soon as we kill our first zombies. We should probably let them get in a little bit, right? A little yeah. closer to the barriers. So everybody, Q here is a zombie YouTuber here. You know what? The timer is going to start right now. Okay. So there you go. Timer has started, guys. We're on the clock. Let's get it going. So Q is another zombie YouTuber, and he is just starting out YouTube a few months ago. And I contacted him to see if he wanted to do a challenge with me, kind of my way of helping out people that are smaller and it's really hard to get recognized on YouTube nowadays because you know just everybody's got a YouTube channel so uh, it's, it's just a huge selection out there for people to watch so sometimes people need a little shot in the arm so that's the goal today so you'll notice the annotation on the screen you'll check out Q's channel it'd be really cool if you did and kind of like as a lagging family here go help the dude out if you like his content please subscribe and I think you're at what like 500 subs right now yeah I'm about 580 right now about 580. So guys, if we get him a few hundred new subs over the next couple days, I think that would be awesome. He does have a goal to get to a thousand subs before Black Ops 3. And I know we can help him smash that goal. So let's do that, guys. Help out. Help out. And I'll be doing this with other uh, YouTubers as well. So, um, but if you guys like Q, of course, I'll bring him back. But we're going to try to smash this challenge. Have you seen this challenge before? You know about it? Yep, I saw you do it on talent earlier. Nice, man. Nice. Well, we'll get it done. It's going to be a little different doing a co-op, though. I'm not, I've not done a co-op before. In fact, this is only my second time attempting this challenge, so we'll see how she goes. Don't show me up, though, okay? Don't do that. I'll try. If you could just die a few times, that'd be great. All right, I'll frag myself. <laughs> I just want to be the best ever. Yeah, frag yourself. All right, so yeah, we can stay in here for a couple of rounds, I guess. You a big fan of Kino? Ah, uh, yeah, Kino is probably my second favorite Black Ops 1 map. Yes, good choice, good choice. Second favorite. What's your first favorite? Ah, uh, a little map by the name of Shangri-La. Oh, you son of a bee. All right, well, this has been Q, everybody, and he's going to leave the, uh, the call now. So we'll talk to you later, Q. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Please don't leave the call. It was a joke. So, yeah, everybody, I think most of you guys know my, my hatred for the map Shangri-La, and it's only because I am horrible at it. It's actually a pretty map, and it's a funny Easter egg, and there's some cool stuff on there. The Baby Maker and the, the Spike Moors were cool. Um... And, you know, the water slide, dude. Yeah, thank you for opening that. Actually, I was about to bail. And the water slide. So, you know, it had some fun things. I'm just horrible at it. I cannot figure out a strategy ever and may never. At this point, it's been, what, three years? I'm definitely not going to figure it out if I haven't yet. Um, you the do you, what, what's your thought on the whole Mars, Mars theory? What was the Mars theory? So, I guess the, the greatest kept secret in zombies still lies on Shangri-La somewhere. The Shangri-La but... Mountains is what Treyarch said. Yeah, right. So I don't I don't have a theory on that at all. What a couple of my friends, Mr. Raffle Waffles and uh, Reed or the Rat Austin, they love doing like theory crafting and stuff and uh, we've talked about it before, but I was like completely lost in the conversation. I just like playing, but what is your theory on it? Explain. Explain a little bit to the audience. I mean, I definitely don't think it's on Mars. Oh, Shangri-La being on that's Mars. The, okay. That's the that's the theory. consensus, I guess, that people oh, wow. like to throw out there. And they've also said that the best kept secret is the Shangri-La Mountains, and I've no clipped yeah, extensively the... through Shangri-La, and there's there is nothing back there. I wonder if mountains can be like a code word for something. You know, though, you know these these guys at Treyarch, they're pretty tricky. So it's hard to believe that they would know back when they made Shangri-La uh, that they would be remaking Shangri-La because it's my it is my firm belief, guys, that we're going to be getting a lot of remade maps in Black Ops 3 as we're starting out on the giant, kind of recreating the story. I think it's very possible that we go back to Shangri-La and Moon uh, within the Black Ops 3 life cycle with DLC. And so maybe, maybe the mountains, Mars, that whole thing will be a part of Black Ops 3. Who knows? Well, maybe pretty implausible, but I've thought that maybe for each DLC of Black Ops 3, we'd get one brand new fresh map in one remade map right that's what i'm thinking that's too what I, been thinking. I don't think it's i don't think it's unplausible now with the next gen capabilities and stuff there'll be a room for it you know you think they'll uh, redo easter eggs for oh my gosh if they did do that 
I hope so. I hope it's got... Well, because because if we're redoing the story, maybe we're redoing some Easter eggs as well. That would be great. That'd be great. I don't know, though. I'm, I'm really looking forward to Black Ops 3, and there's so much uh, speculation in the air, like what to expect and everything. It's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. And do you think Shadows of Evil is just like the flagship map, and that's pretty much the map that we'll see in Black Ops 3 except for DLC? Well... What I mean is, like, will the DLC be all remade maps, or do you think they'll continue Shadows of Evil storyline through DLC as well? I don't know, just because Shadows of Evil gives off such a standalone map kind of vibe to me. But, it does, right? I mean, I can't speak for speak for that, I guess. Oh, you don't work for Treyarch? No, not anymore. Your parents don't? Everybody on the internet says their parents work for Treyarch, and they know this, and they know that. I'm like, damn it, why don't my parents work for Treyarch? It's not fair. I'd, I'd take that inside yeah, intel. Right. Right? Yeah, my dad's Vonderhaar. Don't forget it. Well, you ever go to conventions or anything? You into that whole scene? Um, well, since I'm pretty new to YouTube, I really haven't. Yeah. And out in Wisconsin, there's really not too many uh, gaming conventions. Yeah, yeah. On. The PAC, the PAX North that doesn't exist. No, up no. In Wisconsin, yeah. Nobody they have showed an up. East, a South, and a PAX Prime, which is on the West Coast. They should do a PAX North. There might be one, and I'm just not familiar with it. Here, I'll open this two screen. Let's go. Oh. I opened up the map, I think, except for one door. You owe me your life now. Oh, All it's right. dog round. Watch yourself. Oh, I shouldn't have opened the curtains. I did it anyways. It's too late. I have gotten screwed over on dog round before. Oh, yeah. Dogs are not to be taken lightly until you get jugged. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Are okay, you kidding you didn't, any, you didn't buy any perks, though, right? No, we're good. Issue. We're good. They're going to be coming in hot from my ass now. All right, there we go. I got three down really quick just then. Did you buy the MP40? Yeah, I did. I did. I, I, for it. I regret not buying it. No. Oh, you didn't. You ran out of ammo, didn't you? Yeah, using the PM63. Yeah. God, how many more are there? You're kidding me right now. I'd like to come pick you up, but... No. It's all right. Can I get you? I don't see any dogs. There's okay. one behind you. All right, let's hope he doesn't kill me then, huh? There we go. And you get the max ammo, love. You ready for it? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, that was a close call. That was a close call, but no harm, no foul, because we hadn't bought anything anyway, so not a huge deal. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Jug here in a second. We're already there. You can actually get it already. Good for you. GG. So we'll get Jug. We'll start building our, getting our perks up, and then Pack-a-Punch. I mean, you can do it whatever order you want to do it in. I just like getting my perks first, I think. I'll probably just stick with the guns I have. I might go. I might go Jug, Quick rev I'm sorry. I might go Jug, Speed Cola, then Pack-a-Punch one gun, so I don't have this ammo issue. That we're probably gonna have quite often. PM63 is probably worse. Pack a punch. Oh no 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 no! Woo boy! I almost went down. I forgot I don't have jug. I'm in a really bad spot for not having jug. All right, I'm just gonna keep moving. Oh my god, that was so close. You have no idea. So, what are your hopes for YouTube and uh, what made you start it? What's going on there? Let's talk about that a little bit. Ah uh, well, I guess I started it because, well, my first zombie map was uh, Transit. Oh and my God. I actually thought it was a pretty great a good time, but as you would if it's your first zombie experience. And oh I'm just getting some lag. Also, I've never really been into a game like I got into zombies and started watching you and Patrick and Adam. Oh, and cool, man! That's cool. Yeah, those are good guys you just mentioned too. I realized I wanted to try my hand at the same thing you guys are doing, so. Well, get in here. Get in the ring, my friend. We're all friendly. It's all good. I'm glad I, I ran into you. So uh, if you guys aren't familiar why I'm playing with Q here, and I'm just going to keep calling you Q. I'm sorry. I like it. Yeah, no That's problem. what we're doing here. <laughs> if you want to call me, you can make any vari variation of lagging if you want to. All right, L. All right, L and Q. We got this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was on Twitter, and Keemstar, despite what you think of him, actually had a pretty good idea. He was... He was talking on Twitter about, you know, how the community needs to help each other, and back in the day, that's what everyone did, and... Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, it got me thinking. I'm like, you know what? Keemstar is right. Uh, I wouldn't be where I was at if it wasn't for Chaos Silencer. You guys should know that Chaos Silencer definitely uh, helped you guys discover me, most of you guys that are watching me anyway. So I wanted to kind of reach out and try to find somebody that could use some help and that I see puts effort into their videos, has good quality mic, good quality content, and obviously uploads quite often. So uh, a lot of you guys sent me links on Twitter to your channel. And I ran across uh, Quinn here, and I said, you know what, let's do it. Let's do the damn thing. So this is what we're doing. And uh, that's how it happened. And like I said, I'll be doing this with other people as well. But if you like QE, just let me know, and we'll bring him back. 
Um, but this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, just kind of playing with some random people that I don't know. That's how you get to know people on YouTube as well. I always preach to everybody. They ask, like, how do you get your channel? And I always tell people collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. But it's time to stop talking about it. It's time to start doing it. Man. See? So that's what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, so, okay. if any other small YouTubers are out there watching this, I'd be happy to team up with you. See, there you go, right there. See, we're just making making things happen here. This is great. Um, so what are your hopes for YouTube? Just continue to, like, put out content and have fun? Or are you looking for, like, a goal? Um, well, I don't want to get too ambitious. I'm at, you know, pretty small number of subs right now. But, you know, 1,000 by Black Ops 3 is my, my short-term yeah. goal, goal as of right now. We're going to help you out with that, man. We're going to help them out with that, guys. We got this. We got this. Don't want so, to get too ahead of myself. Speaking of Black Ops 3, first thing you're going to do when you pop in Black Ops 3, what are you going to do? I'm going to go to the Giant. Oh, wait. The Giant. First, the Juggernaut fridge will be popped in to the wall. I got, I got one of those, too. I'm so excited, man. Like, we're going to have little jug refrigerators. It's so cool. I'm hoping that they're not, they're not loud, though. That's my only concern, because if they're loud, I can't keep it next to my gaming setup, which is the whole point of having it. I feel like you'll be able to turn... Oh, you mean, like... Like just the motor oh, running, okay. you know? Yeah, we don't want it to be too loud. Otherwise, it'll kind of interfere with my recording. Maybe I can just unplug it while I record. I was you gonna know? say, I hope you can turn like the audio off. It'll wake everybody yeah, oh, up. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's got a jingle, right? It, it has the jingle too. No, it has. I list like they released a video of them like showing all the sounds off. Yeah. And none of them are actually the jingle. Oh no, none of them. Oh, I was kind of hoping when you opened it. It's just it, like it the round jingle. changing theme and like, I think it's kind of. So I, it does I don't have like audio with it though, right? It does have audio. It's like five different things. It's okay. like round changing theme and stuff like that, but no, no jingle for some reason. Hmm. Well, maybe the jingle would be a bit annoying though. I probably would hate the jingle. You know, I played Buried when it first came out and camped next to Jug. Oh. By the end of that, I think it was like 50 to 60 rounds. I hated the Jug jingle. Yeah. It, just, it sucked so bad after that. I'm saving up for speed next. What are you doing? I have speed and Jug right now. You already have speed and Jug. All right, I'm coming out here with you. You've taken all the zombies, you bastard. <laughs> Actually, you I need to go get ammo. We got 20 shots left. So you still in school? I take it. I am a senior in high school right now. Very nice, man. Very nice. And uh, we talked a little bit before we started recording, so I, I know that you're up in Wisconsin. You're going to be going to college soon. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, I guess not soon, but you know, at the end of the year. Yeah, UW Madison is, is nice, what I'm looking man. at. So congratulations, broadcast major. That'd the plan. Awesome. What are you going to do with that? Well, I actually have been going to an internship at a local uh, like radio station yeah and I mean I'm hoping that can actually turn into like a real career working there. yeah that's you already getting the time in with the internship so that's pretty smart yeah like right now I'm you know driving up to the cities for free but you know it'll be worth it in the end yeah absolutely I think I, I'm gonna go ahead and get jug now and then I'm gonna buy some ammo for one of these guns is the wall ammo the same for all the wall guns like the cost I think it's 500 right all right yeah I'm gonna get mp40 ammo then there's no big difference while I'm getting speed. I think like Olympia and M14 are 250, I feel. Yeah, this one's 500. That's not bad. And then, so you said the Giants. See, I'm, I'm opposite. I'm going to go Shadows of Evil first um, because I just kind of want to see the new thing, the new thing. But I'm going to be getting the game a little early, so I'm not going to be able to post any content to YouTube for a couple of days after I get the game at least. Um, so I'll, I'll get a lot of knowledge and a lot of videos put together. But the first thing I think I'm going to do is definitely is, is try Shadows of Evil out and just see what's what. Well, I have a way to get the game early, too, and I guess we won't even be able to play the Giant off the disc, will we? No, I guess not, won't we? Yeah. Just, so it uh, looks yeah, like so you will be Shadows of Evil. Yeah. So I will be Team Shadows of Evil. I wonder if they'll have the servers cut on. Um, they usually cut the servers on uh, about a day or two before the game goes live. So maybe in those day or two we can try to go find things. That'd be kind of fun. That's, yeah, definitely. I got a couple other zombie buddies who will definitely have the game early as well, so maybe we can get a posse together or something. See if we can't figure out some of these Easter egg steps a little early. So do you think it's going to be an Origins type deal? Uh, what do you like mean by that? Like, do you think the, I'm thinking those melee weapons are going to be a lot like the staffs. Yeah, yeah, they seem to be elemental of in their own way, don't they? They seem to kind of have some properties that are not of this world. Oh, I feel God, like they'll be a pain to, pain to get. Oh, dude, I'm in trouble with these dogs already. Come on now. Come on, dogs. Leave me alone. Did you get your jug? Yeah, I got jug. Oh, yeah. This had three dogs on me, though. I'll go open up to double tap. All right, I got dogs. All right, cool. I got the dogs down. The three I had, anyways. As I take fall damage from jumping off the stairs, that's stupid. 
Oh god, I'm stuck on something. On nothing. There was nothing even there. You must have the last one. This was my first now that I've still got like uh, oh one's coming towards you. That might be the last one. There it is. Um, so this this is like my first ever experience. By the way, 13 minutes off the clock. I'm sorry, hang on. 14 minutes off the clock already. So let's see. I'm gonna get quick. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get quick revive. Yeah. Double taps not, opened. Yeah, I'll get double tap next, I guess, and then I'll work on um, so pack punch money. How many perks do you have right now? Three and now four. Okay, so you're all set. You're working on pack a punch too. You got all the fam. I'm gonna go out to the stage. All right. There must be good spawns out there. I'll chill out here. Yeah, let me get. Uh, we could do this together. So yeah, we've got ten minutes left, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be a tight one. It's gonna be a tight one, I think. All right, where are the zombies? Zombies! I need you. I need you. So yeah, um, Shadows of Evil first for me. I'm really looking forward to the campaign. Speaking of the campaign, did you hear the news that came out yesterday? I did. No last oh. gen campaign. Oh my god, can you even, I can't, oh here we go, double tap, that's what we need. I can't even believe that, I, I just can't, I mean, I am not against it, I understand it, and people on next gen shouldn't be punished because the developers are having to hold back what they can do because of last gen. I mean, it's time to move on, I understand people can't, some people can't afford it. Um, but, think of it this way guys, on last gen, at least you're getting, at least you're getting a copy of the game, this will probably be the last Call of Duty. Uh, that puts that'll be out for last gen. I would I would assume so at least you're getting one more just minus the campaign How many people do you think will buy a copy for last gen? Oh a lot of people um, I put out a video yesterday in the comments There was a lot of furious people and I already pre-ordered do I get my ten dollars back because there's like a ten dollar price difference now Yeah, how do I get you know so a lot of people are interested in still getting it They just want to know how to get their their free copy of black ops and how they get those ten dollars back um, I mean I'll admit like a few months ago I was worried I'd be stuck on last gen, you know, and yeah. I don't think I would have bought the game. Without the, uh, without having, well, I wonder, you know, what's interesting though, and they didn't mention this, but they didn't, they said, they made a point to say, you'll still be able to play Shadows of Evil and multiplayer, but they didn't say anything about the Giant. Uh, we already know you can't get Nuketown on there, the new Nuketown, so will you be out of the Giant as well on last gen? I saw a tweet the other day that said there will be no Giant bonus map. Oh, crap. For so yeah, moving forward, I wonder if there's even going to be DLC at all. That's what I was. Gen. Yeah. Oh god. Well, I mean, I good? feel like first off, the campaign must be massive if they can't fit. They can't fit it on the disc. Right. So the campaign must be massive. And alongside... B multiplayer and mm -hmm. zombies must be just massive. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just having three huge different game modes, three very large different game modes is the problem here, and they can only fit two. And so they went with uh, what they assumed were the most popular zombies, and and not assume they have research. I'm sure they know which one people play the most. So at least you got to keep some zombies in some multiplayer. But there's not like no paint shop, and there's a uh, there was something else. They, oh yeah, no esports. And I know a lot of people love playing competitive competitively on Call of Duty. So there won't be any like uh, of the league play that a lot of people really enjoyed in Black Ops too. So it's kind of it's kind of a big deal. It's it's this is unprecedented for sure. I was. This is the first news I was surprised at. Yeah, it's interesting. So have you gotten a pack punch weapon yet? I uh no, I have four K, so Alright, cool. I'm right there it. with you, so I'm I'm gonna we're gonna go up at the same time at the end of this round, I guess. Do you have your four perks or are you gonna Yeah, I've got four now. Solid. Yeah, I caught up. It was that stage, man. The stage is where all the zombies are at. Yeah. It's a perfect spot to hang out. Have you ever tried four people training on the stage at once? Nah, how's that go? <laughs> have uh, you? Not well, but it's it's fun. <laughs> it would be funny, yeah. It's hectic. I was thinking about, I was actually, it's funny that you mentioned you like Shangri-La. I was actually thinking, like, what challenge are we going to do when I was walking my dog this morning? I'm like, you know, we'll do the 24 challenge, or we could do a two box on Shangri-La, but then I quickly laughed at that thought and, and stopped thinking about it. I just, ah, oh, it would have been a disaster, but people love seeing me fail, so that's always fun. Uh, you want to hop in the teleporter with me? Yeah, for sure. You got a link? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Let's get in there. Yeah, yeah Shangri-La, I mean, I, I like to think I'm good at that map, but if I didn't have something explosive, I probably wouldn't be so so great. Yeah, there's PhD flopper on there, so that's a good point. No, I mean, if we did a two-box and... Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Um, I was about to look at the time, see how much time we have left. We have exactly... Uh, it looks about five and a half minutes, guys, to, to get another Pack-A-Punch weapon. We're both uh, low on points, but that's fine. We'll get that pretty easily on this next round, I'm assuming. Especially if we get a double points, that'd be great. Yeah, double points would be pretty nice. 
But now that we have the pack a punch gun, we got a lot more ammo. It's a lot more stronger. We should be able to just kind of fly through this without a problem. But this is actually a little tighter than I thought it would be. Yeah, I, I mean, your town one, that was... I had 10 minutes to spare, 10 yeah. and a half minutes to spare, but that's what, what happens when you don't have anything you have to pay to open, really. I think I opened the bar, which was, you know, five, 700 points or something like that, and that was about it. Yeah, was oh, it? The, 750, 750, and the one door's like 2,000 maybe. Yeah, and then pack a bunch is just sitting right out there in the open. Now, playing two players might be a hindrance hindrance on the time a little bit, but maybe not. I don't I don't really know. This is my first time doing this two-player, so, hey, you're part of the inaugural Lagging 24 X Challenge Co-op Edition. I am honored. How about that, man? That's pretty dope. Sounds like Twitter bio material. Yeah, it is. You just put that in your Twitter bio. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, and, you know, that'll get you far in life. People oh, will look at that and be like, dude, what? It's That's going crazy. on my college app for sure. Yeah, put it on your college app. Let the guys know that you're interning for that. That's what you did this weekend. You'll probably just get a job offered to you immediately. That's what I would assume. But, yeah. You know, playing with lagging. So. You know what's going to help you with broadcasting your radio career is actually YouTube. Being able to talk to an audience that you can't see and stuff, that'll loosen you up a little bit, I would imagine. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was definitely on my mind when I you know, started it. I f figured it helped me out with, you know, just speaking in general. Yeah, and it, it has for me, too. Now, I've always been kind of an outgoing person, but when I go back and watch, like, my first ever video I uploaded, which, guys, you can't find anymore because I actually got rid of that old channel, but I have that video. I might make a video of that video. Uh, it was god-awful. I was very kind of timid and uh, didn't let the personality shine very much, but it didn't take long for me to get in the groove. I mean, it's all about personality on YouTube. People want to be entertained. They want to hear somebody that's not monotone, someone who's fun, you know. So that's what it's all about, dude. I have enough. Get on the stage and get the get your points you need. Um, all right. I'll, I'll swap spots with you. I don't know where you're at. I'm out in front. I'll come around. I don't want to get stuck through there. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll come through this way then. Yeah, just go around. They're all going to be following me, though, but I'll bring them out to you and peel them off on you. All right. But, yeah, I mean, I English is kind of my my subject. Like English speaking. Okay, we got three minutes. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like that. Right. Um, I'm bringing them out to you. Are you out there yet? Yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting at the bottom of the stairs here. Okay, hang on. There's still some crawlers in my way. Can you can you go ahead and click that button for the teleporter? Oh, I'm not out there. Oh, you're not out there? Where are you? Uh, outside this, like, the big spiral staircase looking thing. I'll just go oh, to the okay. stage. That yeah, works. I'm bringing I'm bringing them out to the stage now. I'm just going to bring a few out, peel them off when you kill them. All right. Kill them all. Yeah, I got to get going here. Yeah, we, we get that. I'll, I'll uh, link the telepad. I'm not going to kill another thing. All right, come on. Unless oh. I have to. Oh, this is going to be close, man. This is going to be close. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? I think I started the timer I'm watching about three seconds after the timer on the screen, so I'll have to deduct like three seconds off the end when we... We'll see if we make it or not. All right, you're 2,000 away. This is going to be close. Hopefully there's no crawlers on the map slowing us down here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Next round starting. Good, 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 good. Yeah, stay out there, and uh, we'll just race for that teleporter the second you have 5,000. All right, it's going to be going to be close. It's linked. Yeah, no. I'm going to hang out here at the oh, bottom dogs. of the stage, okay? Oh, crap. What's the time? Uh, the time is... We have, like, a minute and a half. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. We've got to fly through this, dogs. Oh, no. You can get it without me if you have to. I know. I, if I have to, I will. One of us has to complete the challenge. Once I left the out here, I didn't get any points. I'm killing these dogs. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm taking right. points from you, no but problem. I kind of have to so they don't kill me. Oh. Almost done with these dogs. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm fairly certain of that. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I got you. I got you. It's all right. You can I think you're going to have to do it without me lagging. All right. I'm going to bail upstairs then. Damn it. Oh, no, guys. Oh, I'm lagging, 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 lagging. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What the heck? Oh, God. You lagged out? I don't think I lagged out. It is. This is what happens when you play with me. They don't call me lagging for nothing. Scumbag lagging, guys. Strikes again. All right. Well, I completed the challenge at least. I mean, at least one of us got it done. It's, it sucks, though. I wish you could have gotten it with me. Uh, so I had like 40 seconds to spare, as it turns out here. I'm going to lob some nades at you. It's fine. Just catch those. R.I.P. So close, man. So close. Uh, this is a, this is considered a, 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 you know what, this is considered a, a success. We beat it. We beat it. I'll take I it. I didn't say both of us had to get it done, okay? You're just riding shotgun, that's all. Just hanging out and having some fun. I'm going to try to get to you, man. I, I really am. <laughs> if I could just Are we going to end it off here? Yeah, I guess this is where we'll call it a day, guys. Um, but the challenge, officially, 
I guess was a fail, but kind of a completion. It was fine. It was fine. But uh, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please do drop a like. And we'll be doing this one on more maps. Um, they're going to get harder as we go along, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you go check out Q's channel. Annotation is still on the screen. Link down below in the description. You got anything you want to say before we go, my man? Uh, no, I mean, if you come over and check out my channel, just let me know where you came from. And remember, guys, we're trying to get 1,000 uh, subscribers before Black Ops 3. Let's see if we can help them out. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24, and I will see you uh, next time.